commanders need U.S. attack helicopters to block enemy movement deep inside Iraq, but there's a hitch. There are no desert gas stations to service an American invasion force, so mission planners decide to build one, 93 miles behind enemy lines. They call it Forward Operating Base Cobra. The entire outcome of Desert Storm could hinge on this refueling base being ready for the invasion force, and it's counting on the Black Hawk to make it happen. February 24, 1991, 7.30 a.m., Tactical Assembly Point Campbell, Saudi Arabia. Black Hawk pilots speed across 90-plus miles of desert in 40 minutes at just 10 feet above the ground. As they prepare to land, a shock discovery. An entire enemy battalion is located right where Black Hawk pilots plan to establish the crucial refueling base. The Army sends in reinforcements. The area clear, the Black Hawks swoop in with more than 500 troops and equipment to establish the refueling depot. Within an hour, the new base is pumping gas. Attack helicopters can now refuel here and fly deeper into Iraq. The U.S. invasion force refuels at this base and goes on to pound the enemy on their own turf. 100 hours later, Desert Storm is over. Kuwait is liberated. Iraq's army is defeated. Our military objectives are met.